today I'm going to show you a three coat system which I found works really well when working out in the cold. I'm wearing a dress shirt and jeans and I'm going to put nylon wind pants over top of my jeans. And the jeans go into the boots and the nylon wind pants go outside of the boots. These pants help form a warm air bubble around my legs and they stop the wind from blowing onto my skin and giving me a wind chill. This is a wool coat and it is basically felted wool. It's army surplus clothing and I'm going to put it over top of the dress shirt. It has buttons. Buttons are nice because buttons can be easily repaired using a needle and thread. It's harder to repair a zipper. Once you're fast at using buttons, they work almost as quickly as a zipper. And they also look good. So, the point of the wool layer is it is an insulation layer. The reason I have a shirt underneath the wool is because a shirt stops the wool from itching my skin. This is just a regular dress shirt. I'm wearing a cotton dress shirt, but you can use a silk shirt if you want to. Silk wicks away moisture from the skin, but it's hard to process. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to put a windbreaker over top of the wool layer, over top of the wool jacket. This is a nylon windbreaker. This clothing is very loose fitting and it has to be loose fitting so that you get a warm air bubble around your body. I'm sticking up all of the collars, the dress shirt, the wool shirt, and the nylon windbreaker collar as well. You can see they're all sticking up and now I zip up the windbreaker collar. Now I'm going to put the BDU shirt. This is a Woodland Camel BDU shirt, which stands for Battle Dress Uniform. This is recycled army surplus clothing, and it's sometimes very inexpensive to purchase. Again, this shirt is large and loose fitting. It's too large for me, but I want it really big so I can slip it over top of the other layers, and I want it still to be loose. The windbreaker hood is hanging out the back. Now I am buttoning up the BDU shirt and once you get good at using buttons you'll get pretty fast. And you can see I'm doing this so that I form a warm air bubble around my body. The, the BDU shirt is on the outside because it's very hard wearing and you can get it really dirty and it's fine. The windbreaker is there to stop the wind from blowing through the, the BDU shirt and the B, this BDU shirt is usually used in the summer but I have a really big one so I can just slip it over top of my existing layers. Now I'm going to take the hood and I'm going to put the hood on top of the wool hat just to try it out. It works collars are all sticking up. All layers of collars are now sticking up. So I'm going to put the glasses in my pocket and now I'm going to put on the balaclava. The balaclava is going to go underneath all of the sticking up layers of the clothing. So I'm going to unzip the windbreaker and put the balaclava basically next to my neck skin. And then I'm going to put the hat on top and the collars are going to be flipped up again so that they're on the outside of the balaclava. The windbreaker collar will be zipped up and the hood will be put on top of the wool hat which is on top of the balaclava. And I'm going to adjust the hood. Now I'm going to put on some safety glasses. Now I'm going to put on some welding gloves which go over the shirt cuffs. So the welding gloves protect your wrist and now you can work really well. So they fit over top of the shirts. I'm going to hold the gloves between my legs and now I can adjust the hood so that it's, the, the drawstring is tightened a little bit so the wind can't get in. Now I'm going to put a neck warmer over top of the hood 
and over top of all the collars. I'm going to readjust the drawstring. I'm constantly adjusting my clothing and I'm going to put the drawstring inside of the collars. Now the neck warmer is going over top of the collars and it holds all the collars in place. Now I'm going to put on the welding gloves again and I'm just about ready to go and work outside in the cold. Now I am going to take off the welding gloves and I'm going to use my hands to check and make sure that all the clothing is in place. I can do this without looking. Everything looks like it's in place. I constantly check my clothing and I can pull the balaclava and the neck warmer up or down to give my face protection if it's really cold. Right now I don't need it so I just pull the neck warmer and the balaclava down. Thanks for watching and have a great day.